Well, before I start with the content of the show, I'd like to wait for about a minute just because some people are driving, cooking, in bathroom, doing other things, and they cannot uh, actually tune in with the content of this show. Some other shows, they wait 10, 5, 15 minutes. Some webinars, they wait half an hour, 45 minutes. So in this case, because these episodes are between 5 and 10 minutes, I think one minute should be enough. If it's not enough for you, just uh, listen to the audio or watch this episode later. Remember, safety first. And that said, I'm going live in five, four, three, two, and one. What is going on? My name is Ben and welcome to another episode of my daily vlog where I strive to inspire you to achieve your goals and therefore your dreams. How are you? Happy Monday. Raining all day. Here in London, New Hampshire, it's melting all the beautiful snow we have. But, oh well, hopefully we'll get more snow. We will get more snow in a week or two. I'm sure of that. And today I'm going to read you another segment uh, of uh, chapter two of part one of Master Plan Your Success. This is the book that I wrote for my daughters, my family, my friends, and of course, of course, for you. And, um, and this is part two of a segment called rejection okay so here's part two now if rejection rates are higher than 50 percent then you simply need to evaluate ways to get back to a 51 percent or higher acceptance uh, acceptance rate don't stress it just work on it as uh, at a steady pace but if nothing happens to work Stop worrying about that fact and do not let it stop you from making decisions. Trust your convictions and go achieve your goals to reach your dream. Success is defined ultimately by you if you work toward your goals and therefore your dream. I'm sure you can find millions of examples out there about rejection and how other successful people overcame it but I'm going to give you just one. Mark Ruffalo once told the story of before he became an A-list Hollywood star. It's been mythologized now, but it started with about 600 auditions without success. Most smart people would have quit when it takes that long. Okay, so... You know, it depends on, uh, depends if you care or if you have a purpose for acceptance. And uh, if you don't, then you need to worry about, you know, being accepted. But if you do have a certain, if you have a reason for acceptance and if acceptance is important to you to a normal uh, and safe and healthy degree, then you want to try to, uh, you know, go at least to a 51% of acceptance and in talking about your personal life and again if it's important to you if it's not important don't worry about it don't even pay attention to all this um, stuff i'm saying but uh for example at work like i was saying if you need more acceptance because otherwise you're gonna get fired well you need to kind of focus on get it accepted or your work accepted to um to a level that is uh, acceptable to your boss right so that way you can keep your job and um uh, about mark ruffalo that's a good example you know great actor and uh he was rejected in 600 auditions and he's an a-lister actor so you know because you never know why they're re you most of the times you don't know why they are rejecting you you know a lot of it is in our heads so they don't like me because i'm I'm overweight or because I'm bald or because I'm old and you never, never, never know. The key is to keep going, keep moving forward no matter what. And uh, okay, eventually, if you don't give up, you will eventually accomplish and reach all of your dreams. Always again, using common sense and like I always, that, there are physical limitations, you know, like I, like I said in the episode before this one, if you are 150 years old, you want to make it to the under 23 U.S. swimming team, Olympic team. It's just not going to happen. You can't, even if you want, you train so hard, you're just so far. It's a, it's a, a physical, a biological limit that, you know, it's just like you're wasting your time if you, if you do that. But other than that, 
don't let the word impossible scare you. Sometimes uh, we name impossible things nobody did before, but when somebody does it for the first time, then they become possible. I remember Will Smith talking about the brothers who invented airplanes. They were thinking, oh, why, what if we, we make this really huge tunnel, metal tunnel, and we put people inside and we fly them? And everybody thought they were crazy, and now we all use airplanes. Okay, so you get the gist out of it. And that's all. That was the quote. For uh, this episode, the one from Mark Ruffalo, I'm going to write that quote in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a like. Your likes really do help my channel. They make me so happy because I make this show for you. Of course, I make it for me, but I make it for you. So every time I get a like or a subscription, it makes my day. And if you want to learn more about leading a successful life, uh, filmmaking, photography, acting, and audio, subscribe to my channel. That's the kind of content that I produce. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them as soon as possible. Typically, the very next day, unless I need to research my answer, which, which in which case it will take me a little longer, but I promise you, I will reply to you as soon as I can. And again, thank you so much for watching. I'm falling asleep, actually, to be honest with you, because I ate uh, garlic nut pizza, and it's like, that ah, garlic is just killing me. So I'm going to go and uh, take my shower and hopefully go to bed soon. Thank you so much for watching. Wish you an excellent night, and I will see you tomorrow 